uh, today we will set up an open VPN access server that will connect to our local network using a VPN gateway. This will allow us to remotely connect to our uh, local internet and access our resources from there. For this, we will be needing a digital cloud, uh, digital ocean cloud account where we will host our access server. So this will be our topology. It will compose of the VPN server, our open VPN server, which will be hosted on our cloud server under DigitalOcean and um, it will have two user one will be the pen tester and the other one will be our VPN gateway user the VPN gateway user will be configured on our uh, Windows 10 virtual machine Okay, next, we'll set up our new project called or name Home Love VPN. This is where our virtual access server will be created. Now, let's start creating our VPN access server. So, we'll choose create the droplets, select marketplace, select open VPN access server, scroll down, we will select standard, the payment which is monthly, and for this one, we'll be using Singapore. Scroll down, and we will select our authentication. For this one, to make it simpler, we'll use one-time password which will be emailed to us. Now, we will name our VPN access server as My Test VPN Access Server. After our naming our access server, we will scroll down and click Create. Now we will log into our VPN access server using the credential sent to us through our email. We'll use the root user account and the password sent to us. We will change the current password with a new password. So we'll wait for the configuration to proceed. So first step, we'll type yes the agreement we can press enter for the default for this one we'll just press enter and for the interface we will select all interface so we'll type one then we'll type 943 for the web port for the tcp port we'll type 443 so we'll route all traffic to our VPN, we'll type yes. For the DNS, we'll type yes. For the authentication, the data will be saved on the internal DB, so we'll be typing yes. The default user account to access our web is open VPN. That's the default user account. So we need to uh, use that and type yes. Configuration will proceed. Remember the account open VPN. Once the setup is finished, take note, note of the URL. That is the URL which you can access your open VPS. The last step before you can access the open 
your open vpn is you need to change the password of the default account which is open vpn then you're all done now let's log into your web ui so the url will be dependent on the droplet ip address defined by your host name upon the first login you will see an ssl certificate warning this is normal uh, you can override it log in with the username openvpn and use the password you set up you can now start us using your openvpn access server by adding users in the user permission table and other settings.